So here opening up the Pet Campus dog car booster seat. And one thing I really like about it is it comes with one of those vacuum seal bags that when you're done with it, you could simply fold it up, put it back in the vacuum seal bag, and you could vacuum seal it back shut and compress it until the next time you want to use it. But once you get it out of the bag, it inflates a little bit, but it's actually meant to be quite poofy like this. It doesn't fully like expand like those memory foams. It's actually meant to be a little fluffy like this and actually malleable. So when the dog lays on it, it basically is kind of like soft bedding and it just bends to him. But you can see you could pull the covers off if you need to wash them. It also includes a little buckle in there so that when you attach it to the seat itself, you can buckle your dog in their harness so that way they don't get to move very far. Again, if you're going to buckle your dog in it, make sure you use the harness on their back. I wouldn't buckle it around your dog's neck if they have a collar around their neck. Make sure you use your back harness with the buckle on the top of the dog's back. Let's go set it up in the car and show you how it looks being set up in the car itself. So when setting up the car, there's going to be two main straps. You're going to want to adjust the first strap, which is going to be around the headrest, and then the bottom strap, you're going to adjust and tighten around the bottom of the seat. Between both straps, they should be very, very tight. Make sure you keep adjusting them until they're super tight. So after you keep working them until they're super tight, you can see how the seat rests in the front. You've got the seatbelt lock over here, which you attach again to the loop around your dog's harness. Don't attach it to the collar around the neck. Make sure your dog wears a harness and attaches to the top of your dog's harness. But you can adjust this too. Now you can't make it too short, but you can make it short enough so that the dog's not going to go into the dashboard should the car stop short or something like that. And you can see it rests rather nicely. It's very firm. I'm tugging on this. It's not going anywhere. It's pretty secure in its seat. So we'll go ahead and put my dog in it and show you how Heinz likes it. So my mini Dachshund Heinz really liked this car seat. It was very comfortable. He liked that it had the bumped or raised edges. So he liked resting his head around the edges like you see he's doing now. He basically was really calm. He knew right away that he couldn't get out of the car or couldn't get too far with that buckle around his harness. And you see how the harness right there. And once he realized that he was firmly seated in it and he couldn't go anywhere, he just kind of resigned to it. It was very chill, very relaxed, happy to go for rides, happy to be a passenger in the car. Again, it isn't going anywhere. It's very secure, especially when you buckle them in there. And it just gives a nice little pet rest. And it, especially the raised borders on the side. He really liked laying his head on the raised borders on the side. But he's a very long dog. And you see he fits with no problem at all. So you wouldn't have any trouble at all with, say, like a Frenchie or a Boston Terrier or a Mini Dachshund or even a, maybe a smaller Beagle. Shouldn't have any problem with this seat at all. It's obviously a bit small for a giant breed of dog. But if you have a relatively medium to small breed of dog, it should work out just well. And Heinz just loves it and loves going for rides.